On your marks, get set, go. Scottish Athletics really is on the right track just now. Zoe Clark's a case in point. She struck gold with this run in the 400 metres at the recent British Indoor Championships. And it's Clark and Nielsen Dole's not going to get there, it's Clark who does. That secured her spot at next month's European Indoor Championships in Glasgow, where the home crowd will certainly have plenty to cheer. Remarkably, nine Scots are in the 48-strong British team for the Emirates Arena event. I think it definitely is a golden generation. You've got so many Scottish athletes competing at the highest level, and I'm just so proud that I can be part of that. You know, I think it's going to be on the up and up for a few years' time. I think it's going to keep going. And I'm glad that I'm around and competing with the best of the best. Nine's the best we've ever had in more than 50 years of European Indoor Championships. But it's not unexpected. If you look at the work that's gone on in the clubs, the coaches and the athletes themselves have put in over the last 10 years or so, uh, and given the representation of Scots at the last few championships, we certainly expected to have a number of Scots in the team. So we're really pleased to have nine. Uh, but all those nine athletes, I'm sure, will be expecting to, to reach finals and contend for medals. Laura Muir will certainly have those aspirations as she looks to defend her 1,500 and 3,000 metre titles, smashing Kirsty Wade's 31-year-old British indoor mile record at the weekend isn't a bad way to warm up. Laura Muir runs 418.74. The likes of Muir and Clark are very much becoming household names. With that, perhaps, comes an added responsibility to help inspire a new generation of track and field stars. It's difficult for me thinking that I can be a role model to people, but, you know, I've, I've been into a lot of schools and a lot of visits, and it's actually great to see how inspired these young children get. So, I, you know, if we can do anything to inspire the next generation, I think we definitely have to do that. As she finalises her preparations here in Aberdeen, Zoe's quietly confident she can really make her mark in Glasgow when the European indoors get underway there a week on Friday. Tyrone Smith, reporting Scotland.